So I had a question about how do you uh, resize the webcam uh, after you've captured your video. And at this moment, I'm inside of Camtasia Studio. And uh, to answer that question, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you're going to look for is the track where your webcam uh, recording is actually placed. So it may be uh, track one, track two. Uh, it's however it initially is labeled or however you might have labeled it, uh, which you do have control to rename uh, your tracks if you wanted to. Uh, what I'm looking for is uh, within this, this panel here at the bottom is uh, our individual tracks, and I'm looking for which one is my webcam. Now if I click on a track clip, and then that's this movable segment here that can be video and audio component or an object of uh, some sort, but uh, let's just focus on what we have in front of us. So here, uh, I noticed that track two actually is the track that symbolizes um, my webcam that I captured. I can tell because once it's selected blue, if I look in the on the right-hand panel where my canvas is, that's what this panel is called, uh, I'll notice that I have a canvas exposing both my webcam and also canvas that's exposing the visual for my um, whatever I captured on my, my screen. Uh, now, I also could interact with each of these individual tracks by selecting the particular canvas. So I have now left clicked on the uh, canvas of, of myself, the webcam itself, or I can left click on the canvas that represents the track or what I recorded in the, on my screen. Now, if I want to blow up this particular track um, element, the webcam, then I could simply select it and then drag up with my, um, my cursor um, to increase the, the size. It's not the best picture in the world, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, so I can simply drag diagonally, uh, and it should maintain uniform scale. Um, uh, now, if I were to grab from the sides or, or the top and the bottom, then you know that's going to squish or stretch whatever image you have there. So, Control Z to undo that. Um, you you never want to grab from the sides. You always want to grab from the corners, and that's if you want to increase the size of just the webcam, and uh, maybe you can even place it to different locations along the timeline. However, you want to do that. Now, if we, if we want to interact with, with it a different way, let's say uh, instead of uh, just resizing the canvas object, I'd rather zoom in to that particular region for a second. Um, then you can call attention to your webcam, if you so desire, where you can have like a more of a personalized approach. So what did I do just now? Um, let me set this back. I, I've selected the zoom and pan uh, option from the left panel at the top. And after selecting the zoom and pan, I have exposed the opportunity to modify the scale as to what my zoom box here is. That's what this is. So instead of resizing my canvas, I'm instead uh, scaling down what I'm seeing and essentially kind of like cropping out the area that I have. So uh, that's going to be a completely different way of interacting with it, but that allows you to uh, have what's called keyframes inter in, to interact within your video. So uh, you know, I, I've inserted a keyframe to have at the very start for me to talk, and then maybe I can zoom out, scale up, and then change the location of the zoom box to show at this particular time in my timeline at the bottom. Uh, what I have going on here. So this uh, small dot and big dot represents the start time here and this represents your end time and then the arrow shows that it's progressing uh, to zoom in or zoom out and pan um, on your screen. So if I were to watch this part of the presentation and it should start now and um, if you felt like that was too quick, then you can expand out the um, scale uh, as to which uh, dot you choose is up to you. You can change the start or the end time for either track. And doing so will 
give you uh, less of a snappy um, and more of a uh, uh, slow paced uh, uh, duration for your zoom out. Uh, so that, that is yet another way of doing it. Um, if I want to go back to the full fit entire canvas, then you could just select not one by one, but you'd select the option right next to it, which is scale media to fit. And now go back to the full scale size of your recorded canvas. Um, at that point, you're welcome to do anything that you like. Um, you, you have your options. You can, again, whichever track represents the um, element that you want, either webcam, in this case for me it was track two, and then my uh, canvas for what I have going on in the background that represents track one. Um, if you wanted to, you can always modify the name of the track. So if you wanted to call this webcam track and then track one, uh, you can double click on that track and maybe call that um, a desktop or maybe PowerPoint or whatever you might have recorded um, to help you keep up with like well, what, what track is what. That's always a good idea. Um, but beyond that, those are the two methods that I suggest in regards to scaling up or viewing uh, a particular section of uh, what you have going on. Uh, in the particular uh, case where you have a PowerPoint presentation and you wanted to uh, sign uh, and you wanted to make it more, e more simplistic for your viewer to see what's going on, in that case I would definitely just scale up the um, the little webcam viewer, uh, the P2P that you have going on there. Uh, that way uh, you have a, a better view of what's going on. And if you needed to adjust it so that um, it will uh, basically change in size from one point to another, uh, then you, you may want to consider fooling around with that a little bit because it, it, will, it will not change. Like right now we have one entire clip uh, which is webcam, it's not split up. So if I were to um, say if I wanted it to be really tall at this point, but later on in my timeline I want it to be uh, a little bit smaller, then what I'm going to need to do is actually um, trim my video up or clip it, excuse me, not trim, but clip my video into different segments. So right now I have my webcam uh, video selected. I'll need to split the clip, move over a little bit um, and then you know at this point I'm only selecting this particular segment or now it's its own clip so now I can maybe have it smaller uh, so you know we'll, we'll be able to see that it's it's able to be resized that way you're not blocking bullet points that you might have or you might have a little bit more control of where your camera placement is and honestly uh, you, you might want to play around with that a little bit that does kind of appear choppy uh, it doesn't really have, as far as I know, a smooth way to transition like you could when you are zooming in and panning around. Um, so that, that would be one issue. But if you wanted to apply a transitional effect that might make it a little bit more of a smooth uh, fill, uh, you can just maybe do a fade to black or what, whatever it might be. But <laughs> then that would probably look kind of weird. So you'll probably want to fool around with that a little bit to get something that you like. Um, but again, I would suggest just blowing up the, um, the block that you have there uh, to making it more view viewable and then um, having it appear when you need it.